10.8 for today on Thursday. And it's talking about above and below. So we're going to use our 3D shapes um, in our pictures to show above and below. Okay, so on this picture, it says trace the circle around the object shaped like a cylinder. Trace the circle around the object shaped like a cylinder that is below the shelf. So here's the shelf, and below the shelf, there's several shapes, but this is a cylinder. So I'm gonna show you what a cylinder looks like. Can you see this? So it has a circle at the top, a circle, a flat circle at the bottom, and rounded edges. So there's no straight edges on a 3D shape, which this is a cylinder. So below the shelf, here is the picture of the cylinder. Okay, then it says to trace the X on the object shaped like a sphere that is above the cabinet. That is above the cabinet. So we've got a sphere right here. It's like a ball. It's exactly like a ball. No straight edges. No corners. It's just round. So trace the X on the object shaped like a sphere that is above the cabinet. So here is the sphere that's above the cabinet. So I'm gonna put an X through it. Okay, all right, we're gonna turn to the next page, which is 442. And it says, to circle the object that is shaped like a cone, a cone. So I'm gonna show you the shape of a cone. Here's a cone. It has a round, flat side. And then it has a point at the top. Can you see that? It's shaped like a birthday hat, right? Okay, so we're gonna circle the object that is shaped like a cone that is below, below, not above, but below the play set. So here's the play set. And we're looking for the object that's shaped like a cone below the play set. They don't do very well because, okay, so this is the cone that's under the play set. So I'm going to circle it. It's below the play set or, or under. Now it says mark an X on the object that is shaped like a cube. Let me find you a cube. So here's a cube. Now look at it. it this cube does have a straight edge. It's not like the sphere. Um, it's not like the um, the cone. It has straight edges. But when we have a flat shape, which is called a 2D shape, we've only got four sides and four corners or vertices. This cube has many sides and many vertices. 
Okay. So it's got the square on each side. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six sides, flat surfaces there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. So we are looking for the cube that is above the playset. And right over here, this is above. And here's a picture of the cube. So I'm going, oh, I just messed up and I can't. Hopefully, you used a pencil. You know how we're supposed to use a pencil, especially with math. We're supposed to put an X. Sorry, I made a mistake. All right. Now we're going to color the object that is shaped like a cylinder above the play set. That's a little bit harder to find. A cylinder. So remember, a cylinder is kind of like a can, or it can be like a bottle of some sort. So this girl has a bottle that's shaped like a cylinder. Oh, I'm supposed to color. See, here I am already circling. So we're going to color the cylinder. And if you have color crayons, you can go ahead and do that. Okay? All right, next page, which is circle the ball that is above the net. The ball that's above the net. Okay, what are, what kind of shape is this? What is it called? What is a ball called? Do you remember? Yes, it's called a sphere. So what are we going to do? We're going to circle the ball that is above the net. Okay, now we're going to mark an X on the box that is directly below the net. Okay, so remember a box, what is, a, what is the shape called that's a box? What 3D shape is a box? It's this one right here. Remember? Do you remember what that's called? It's called a cube. So we're going to mark an X on the box that is directly below the net. So here's two boxes or two cubes, but we're supposed to do directly below the net. And we're supposed to put a what on there? An X. There we go. Okay, last page of this lesson. It says, draw to show what you know about real world three dimensional objects that might be above or below the net. So this is gonna be on your own. So I want you to draw some three dimensional shapes I'll give you a clue. One three-dimensional shape is something that you can kick and you play with on the playground. Okay? Or in this situation with a net, you hit it over the net. It's a type of ball. Okay? So I want you to draw some real-world three-dimensional objects on your own and then you could take a picture and you can send it in the portfolio on class dojo or you can just have your parents take a picture and send it to me um, through messaging okay all right have a great day